meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with your first alert storm team forecast. We're going to start you off with a quick look at the tropics because we're watching two areas in the Atlantic Basin. And of course, we have the one here in the Bay of Campeche that has a low to medium chance of development over the next couple of days. Now we're watching an area just to the north of the Bahamas, or at least around the northern Bahama Bahaman Islands, that has a low chance of development over the next several days. The good news is both of these do not pose an immediate threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Now, over the last couple of hours, we continue to see a gradual increase in cloud cover in isolated showers. Here's a live look from USA Health Providence Hospital from our all in credit union camera. I had to show the Grand Hotel a point clear again because look at that beautiful rainbow kind of stretching across the sky there. We did have a little bit of a brief shower kind of move over Mobile Bay over the last couple of minutes here. This is from our GMC camera. Meanwhile, we see a mix of sun and clouds over in Fort Walton Beach from our Destin West vacations camera. Temperatures are already pretty war uh, warming up quickly out there. Excuse me. We're seeing 79 in Citronelle, 78 in Leakesville and Loosedale right now. Now we're at 82 in Mobile and Grand Bay. Meanwhile, it's 84 on Dauphin Island and 80 degrees in Pensacola. Now, forecast highs for today are not going to be as hot as yesterday for most of us. I think most of us will see the upper 80s to lower 90s with maybe some slightly warmer temperatures for our northern communities, including middle to upper 90s for areas like Chatham, Jackson and Grove Hill. And that's not including the heat index, which again won't be as high as yesterday, but it's still going to feel quite toasty out there. It's going to feel more like the middle to upper 90s as we head to the late morning and early afternoon and by the time the showers begin heading into the second half of our afternoon the heat index values will begin to drop just a little bit speaking of which we got a couple of spotty to isolated showers out there this morning and they're very brief in fact we just saw one pass through battleship park not too long ago it was very brief and now it's pretty much gone you can kind of see that across gulf shores into foley and across the i-10 corridor still about a 40 percent chance that you will need those green and phillips umbrellas for today so let's look at the forecast model here heading into the late morning and early afternoon. Again, we'll continue to see this isolated to scattered activity with the greatest chance moving in as we head later on into the afternoon. This is stopping the clock around 430 later today, and some of those showers may linger even as we head into late tonight and very early Monday morning, but we should get a brief break throughout the rest of our Monday morning and into the early half of the afternoon, and then showers and storms will begin to fire up heading into your Monday afternoon. I do think we could see just a little bit more than what the forecast model is showing, especially for areas west of Mobile Bay. Speaking of which, there could be a chance for some flash flooding and elevated risk stretching across the Gulf Coast from southeastern Texas into southern Louisiana and Mississippi, but it's also included in portions of our area, including George and Jackson counties and most of Mobile counties. So just keep in mind for tomorrow afternoon, some of those uh, some of those showers could bring some heavy rainfall and cause some ponding out on the roadways. So again, Monday and Tuesday will be our greatest chance for showers and storms, and then they'll back off through the middle and second half of the work week as far as temperatures are concerned. They will be very warm, but seasonable for this time of the year in the upper 80s to lower 90s while we wake up in the 70s for the